Welcome back. Tonight, I'm joined by Daniel James, SoundCloud star. Daniel, thank you for joining me tonight. Thank you for having me. It's so great to see you here and to, you know, kind of still follow your music. You had a big song out last year. You were featured in about, about It. Uh, I probably dance to that song a little too often, but that was all about working on your artistry. So what are you up yeah. to now on campus? Yeah, so um, recently I've been developing artists because I was an artist myself, so I really know what it takes for an artist to get them to the next level. So I'm developing two right now. One you might know, Jeremy Zucker and uh, Andy Polk, who's a senior here. Um, but foremost, I'm studying the music business in the Bandier program here. So while I'm doing that, I'm really just focusing on uh, taking my career to the next step and working with these artists to get them where they need to be. Amazing, and you have a very close relationship with uh, Jeremy Zucker. He was just here. Yes. Everyone had a great time yeah. watching him at Juice Jam. You had a little performance yourself. So what's that been like working with him and getting to know him so well? Yeah, Juice Jam was amazing, and it's really uh, it was a surreal experience for me. Actually, funny story, my freshman year at Juice Jam, uh, a girl came up to me and kind of mockingly asked me, is Daniel James going to be performing at Juice Jam next year? Okay. And I looked her in the eye and I said, seriously, I was like, give me a few years. And they all laughed at me. And yeah. fast forward to my senior year, I was on stage performing in front of my own university and it was just an amazing experience to, that I knew would happen and I knew Jeremy could do it. So it was really great to see that come to fruition. Yeah, I'm sure it's so great for you to be helping other artists kind of inspire other uh, kids who want to become artists or just want to listen to good music. So who inspires you? What music do you listen to? Uh, I'd say uh, John Bellion, um, Bon Iver, uh, Black Bear, uh, Eden, and um, Drake. Of course. Yeah, you I can't, gotta I can't not say can't Drake. Deny yeah, that. Yeah. Amazing. And I know we're seniors now. We have a lot of career goals ahead, big steps to take. What are we expecting out of Daniel James? I think um, A&R, which is artists and repertoire, which is the people who find the artists and sign the artists at record labels, I think that's what I'm best at. I've always had a gut and an ear for talent, so I think that's where I'm going to take my career in the future, and hopefully one day I'll uh, own my own record label. So yeah, we'll see, we'll see that's the best. That's the best. And I know you're, you know, you're kind of working less on the artistry now, but in the future, do we kind of see? more features of you in songs? Are you helping with lyrics? Like, what's up with yeah, that? Yeah, so I co-write a lot with Jeremy Zucker and a few other artists, so I'll continue to do that. And uh, working on my artistry on the side, kind of when I get inspired to. I'm not one a person who's gonna sit down and write a song if it doesn't mean anything to me, so when that happens, I'll be on the features and I'll be making my own music as well, so. Amazing, yeah. and we're seeing, you know, Jeremy is doing so well right now. The fact that he was one of our amazing headliners at, at Juice Jam tells us about that. So what can you say about him as an artist and where you think yeah. his career is going to go? Yeah, so uh, I just helped get him uh, signed to Republic Records, which is oh the God. biggest major label in uh, the country. So we're uh, just gearing up for his first release, which he's releasing, I think, a single in a week or so, and his debut EP with Republic in the next month. So that's where it's going to go, and I'm really excited to see where it could go with that. Yeah, and I know now the Bandier program is kind of uh, – now being included in New House, and it's going to take a little bit for that to happen, but what can you say about the program and it's shifting? Do you think it's going to be good things, or it might be a little bit of struggle in the beginning? What do you what do you picture? Oh, it's been such a smooth transition. Uh, Bill Wordy just came in to take over as director of, of Bandier and oversee this transition, and it's been so smooth, so amazing. I love Bandier, and I love all the alumni and everybody who comes out of it, so... It's a really great program, and New House has been so welcoming, so it's all Perfect. good. It's all good. It's all and good. then you know you're very involved in UU. Yeah. Uh, that had a lot of say and involvement with creating a perfect juice jam for everyone. Yeah. Anything we can know about Mayfest? Is there anything <laughs> out there <laughs> that we should know? You're going to get me in trouble. You're going to get me in trouble. Now, um, I'm research director for University Union, so that's like finding artists. So I saw Matt's video, so I'm o my ears are open, and okay. I'll see what we could do, but I'm really just in charge of thinking of artists and keep my ears open to what the students want to see for Mayfest and Juice Gems. So uh, we'll see. Hopefully we'll get some good acts. Amazing. And I know you kind of outlined what those career goals are, but what would be a, you know, post-grad position for someone like you who kind of wants to do a bit of behind the scenes, but continue on your right. career? So well. I think uh, A&R at a major record label is where I see myself going. So usually a foot in the door would be like an assistant to an A&R, and then you work your way up to have an A&R position by signing an artist. So I see myself doing that while developing artists on the side and managing artists and overseeing creatively what the artists do as a creative director to them um, on the side while I'm doing A&R at a major record label. Does it matter where you're placed? Is this something that, oh, it's all New York, yeah. it's all LA. I know London's a, a pretty big hotspot yeah. as well, so what are we picturing? 
I think I think New York because it's just I'm from New Jersey, so New York is kind of like a second home to me. But LA is a creative hub that I love to go to on vacation. So maybe like weekly trips out there just to get the creative juices flowing. But overall, I love New York. So New York. That's Sounds it. like you're living the life. Yep. If I could travel across from New York to LA anytime, if you guys are uh, planning to hire me anytime soon, New York, LA. I'm happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, after the break, Daniel and I will be playing a pretty fun game of finish that lyrics, so stick around.